The world is coming to Dubai and if you're moving to this wonderful city and perhaps you've already bought a property, this is one very, very important thing that you must keep in mind because if you don't, it's going to cause a lot of time, resources and potential pain. Okay, guys, listen, if you need expert help, there is a link below. Hit it, click it. Let's talk. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and bell icon and show some love in the comment section. Show real first. Alright guys, welcome back. Look, if you've already bought a property or you're buying a business and you're moving to Dubai, if you skip this one step, it's going to cause you a lot of pain, okay? So Dubai is a city in the United Arab Emirates. Just like any other country, there is a requirement for you to have a entry permit or a visa so to speak okay so generally speaking when you're coming into dubai you are going to be entering sometimes on a tourist visa there's about 40 odd countries that get entry permits or visas on arrival okay so these are the usual countries like the us uh, england so on and so forth where if you actually come to the port of entry in the united arab emirates you get a one month i think it used to be about 30 or 40 days stamped into your visa and you can stay in the country as a tourist now this tourist visa could be actually renewed two times or three times the rules do change around that so disclaimer you're gonna have to check this yourself but if you're coming into dubai with an eye to living here then there is something else that you need to do which is a residence visa so if you overlook this most important step documents and having your ducks in line as far as your documents are concerned it's going to cause you a lot of pain both in time and resources why because your residence visa is what allows you to in Dubai to be able to get a driving license live in the country indefinitely as long as the visa is valid you can get and rent a property you can get a sim card for your phone and so on and so forth everybody everything's kind of like oh you can get a bank account everything and anything is almost linked with this now why is it super important to have this in line okay have your documents in line so your residence visa gets done properly okay i'm going to explain this specifically for people who are moving here with families because most of my clients who are investors and are moving here from canada or europe or the us generally have their families with them okay either it's wife uh, or wife coming in with the husband children so on and so forth now here's how the rules work in the uae okay if you are the primary uh, well we could say caregiver or you're the primary income earner then most likely you will be the person sponsoring your spouse okay so it could be let's say primary could be a husband or a wife you are the one who sponsors the spouse okay and under that come the children so let's call them kids okay now this could be the husband or a wife now you could be a primary spouse and come into the country either as a property owner business owner or into a job okay so an employment now because either of these three will give you a residence visa that residence visa does not automatically go and transcribe to your kids what do you need to do for that to go to your children is you've got to prove that your spouse is actually your spouse and your children are actually your children now you might say that's pretty easy to do because how do you prove that your spouse is your spouse in a lot of countries passports 
generally speaking, carry husband's name. Sometimes they don't, but if they don't, you've got a passport here, and you've got, generally speaking, a marriage certificate, right? So far, so easy. Same thing here, passport, and a birth certificate. So far, so easy. Well, not so fast. I'll tell you exactly what happens in this scenario. Okay, guys, listen. In the UAE, having a marriage certificate is just not enough for you to then automatically sponsor your wife and your kids because how are the UAE authorities supposed to know that your marriage certificate is valid and you just didn't print it off a high-end printer at home, right? How do you do that? It's very simple. Your marriage certificate gets attested by your marriage, what do you call that? Marriage authority in your country. Then it goes to the UE embassy in your own country. Okay, so it could be, I don't know, but let's say you're in Toronto, okay, you got married in Toronto. So, so the registry authority, whatever it is. Then it comes to the UAE and it goes to something called the MOFA, which is Ministry of Foreign Affairs, and they will stamp it, okay? So you need one, then two, then three stamps for this to then be valid, okay? So let's just do this here. Does this make sense? Now, God forbid if you're in the country already on a tourist visa, but you did not do this. So what is the most important thing to do? is documents some people hire a document clearing company um, I don't have one to recommend to you right now but the document clearing company takes care of all of these so that you can seamlessly sponsor your children and wife and they can start their schooling start living enjoying their life in Dubai which is what you're really moving to Dubai for right having a better family support system, living a better life perhaps, in a safer environment, uh, and you know, not have the stress to have to actually do this, okay? A lot of people oversee this process. Guys, listen, if you're moving to Dubai, get your documents in line, because if you don't, it's gonna cause a lot of pain, a lot of money, and a lot of resources, okay? So, you heard it here first, take care of it. Ciao for now. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. I hope you liked it. My name is Fad Daud. I've been doing this for 15 plus years. I started in uh, Toronto, Canada in 2006 and since 2007 I've been based in Dubai and doing real estate in Dubai. Look, if you're looking to work with me, there's a form below and my mobile number. I do paid consulting. You can also uh, get help for, uh, from my team for services. If you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe and the bell icon and share it with uh, your friends who you feel would be able to benefit from the content of this video last but not the least i'll repeat me and my team's role is always going to be to help and select the best property for you your role will be to invest in that property and we will in turn invest in your life and your future bye for now